Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be covering the one, the only, Pokimane, who, for some reason, believes that women have it harder in the streaming industry than men. Because when women mess up, they get canceled. They get called out. They get called worthless. Pokey posted on her main account, <laughs> Pokey and main, <laughs> in this industry, a girl Fs up, what a fake bitch, such a worthless piece of garbage, also good die in a hole, a guy Fs up, oh my god king, don't worry, everyone makes mistakes, we know you have a good heart and will be here for you forever, I don't know if she's ever been self-aware. I, I highly doubt that Pokey Main is self-aware of anything because of the simple fact that if she were, she would take a look at how Twitch cancels people, uh, how Twitch enforces their rules, who the biases lean towards, and well, what happens if, I don't know, a guy show, slips some dong on Twitch, he's probably never going to be streaming on there ever again. But Amarath flashes some vag, and she's able to stream two days later, a day later. She's not canceled. She's not removed. She can show off her muff, and, well, it's okay. Because Twitch does not live by the standards you think exist. If you're talking about the way people come at content creators they watch and view... You need to look at your audience. You think if you get criticized that your core audience isn't going to bend over backwards to defend you? They are. Same as goes for any male streamer or anything like that. They're going to be defensive because of cult personality and people, you know, wanting to support those they care and like. You have the same ex same opportunity and same situation happen to you. Look at look at people like Gundam that you actively got sponsors removed from and you're trying to tell people that it's harder being a woman in the industry because you get criticized and called names you think it doesn't happen to guys in the same industry i i truly truly believe you're just being disingenuous you are not even taking a second to actually look at any of the situations that you're trying to say are the case she goes on to say, it sucks because I can understand why guys have an easier time relating to guys and girls to girls. So if a community is male dominated, there's bound to be biases. But I hope that in this day and age, we can learn to be both fair and empathetic with others regardless of this. They are. Your audience, uh, I would wager, is mostly men. Is mostly men on Twitch. You, you would have to show me analytics that show otherwise because Twitch and YouTube are primarily male platforms. Now, do men easily side with other men? No, we generally end up beating the shit out of each other, getting into arguments, and then, you know, give each other a break. Men tend to be a bit harder on other men. It's just the case. We have a higher standard for each other. Now, are you talking about your audience of... People who are simpletons and only want a night for you? Or are you talking about people of other audiences who want to call you out because of what they see as a double standard on Twitch and other platforms when it comes to female creators? Now, they may call you out heavily. They may make fun of you. They may call you names and do all that shit. But it's not the major consensus. You know why? Because it's, it happens in verse. If you say, oh, Gundam is a piece of garbage, I will wager you have a ton of your audience members go over there and talk shit to him. Cancel culture does not hit women as hard as you want to believe. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. There hasn't, look at, okay, great example. Amber Heard. Amber Heard's still massively relevant, still has her movie, no one's removed her from Aquaman, even though people are calling for it after she lied, tried to uh, pull a uh, Me Too on Johnny Depp, and people went out of their way to cancel Johnny Depp super quick. But what about Amber? 
Why is she getting the benefit of the doubt? Women get the trust all women mentality. Men get they're the fucking aggressors. They're pieces of trash and they're the evil ones. I don't think it has anything to do with what you're thinking it does that. Oh, because in your industry, I get called out and it's so hard on me. If you can't take criticism, then you don't need to be a public figure. I'm sorry. You need to seriously take a second and evaluate what you're doing because you're never going to get past it. People are always going to criticize you when you screw up. There's going to be people there to tell you that's what you have to deal with as a public figure. So either learn to deal with it or move on. I don't know what you guys think. I think that's just the case. I think this tweet right here is ridiculous and it's her calling and wanting to be a victim. You are not a victim because people talk shit to you. You're not a victim because people will end up talking shit to the same guy you're speaking about. It's not one-sided. You're wholly making this a standard or the way it is in the industry, but it's not. I'm sorry, it's not. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I do appreciate you hanging out. I'm really sorry that I haven't done a Ghost of Tushima stream uh, in the last few days. Uh, internet issues and trying not to impact uh, Sicko's gameplay when he's playing uh, Call of Duty Warzone. And since we share internet, I don't want to be that jerk. But I will ask you, please throw a like on this video. Throw a comment on there as well. It does help out. And, well, share it. I'll see you guys again on the next episode. Thanks.